Hello everybody, welcome to Living with the Ancients. Today we're going to be playing with sticks. Mom always said don't play with sticks. The red squirrel's not very happy either. Because <laughs> chances are we might end up throwing one of these at him uh, if we get really hungry. So this is the most basic of hunting tools, uh, weapons, etc. can be sharpened as well to make a digging stick or as the Apache call a krabak, which is like a pointed stick. So you can use it to catch some small game um, or dig some roots or whatever. So today we're going to uh, practice different techniques, overhand, underhand, uh, and horizontal throwing. And then hopefully we'll be able to catch a chipmunk or something else to either consume or perhaps use to bait a larger animal and get a bigger meal out of it. So this is, this is going to be fun. Um, Mom always said don't play with sticks. Um, for good reason because they can be dangerous so uh, make sure if you set up a range it's not near any glass windows or where people might be walking or venturing. Also be very careful of the ticks. I already got a tick bite being out here um, so yeah wear, <laughs> wear your protective stuff. Alright? Alright here we go. Let's have some fun. When you're using the throwing stick, there's different ways to throw. You can throw it horizontally here, you can throw it overhand, or you can even do a little underhand throw. So you want to be able to throw well with your right hand and with your left hand. It's important to be ambidextrous, not only for brain health, but just in case you get an injury, you have um, a limb that you can rely on. So get to know your non-dominant hand, in this case by throwing sticks. So we'll start with horizontal throw, and then we'll go through all the others. So we got some sticks, man. We got lots of sticks. There, not bad. <laughs> when I came out here the first round, I missed almost every one. So you got to keep in practice. That's important too. <laughs> so let's see how we do left-handed. Very important. Right and left hands working. Okay. Sometimes one will work better than the other, but practice with both. Okay, so that's the horizontal throw. Now the the overhand and the underhand throw. Now we'll do a little bit lefty here, <laughs> see how we do. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea. Then the underhand throw is the next one. So now the underhand throw. Beep. Okay, right-handed and now left-handed. See how we do. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, <laughs> I'm doing pretty good today. So practice, 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 and then when you're ready, go out and see if you can actually get something that's moving and has senses and awareness. Um, be sneaky and have lots of gratitude when you take that critter. All right, hope you enjoy so far. Check out the next phase. Uh, we're gonna test it out in the woods. When you're looking for a throwing stick, you wanna kinda of measure it out based on your arm's length from your armpit to your hand, your wrist, your fingertips, it's up to you. And you want a nice hardwood stick if you can find it, maple, hop horn beam, something heavy like that, oak is real good. Um, and then you can also shape them to make them uh, quieter as they fly through the air and um, you know have a little less um, drag so play around with it have fun and test and practice say you're approaching an animal in the forest you want to kind of turn your body to the side to minimize that 
profile, that human shoulder head neck profile. And if you're going to throw the stick, you don't want to reach it up like that because what does that broadcast to the animals, right? Whoa, <laughs> he's going to kill something. So you want to just kind of very carefully bring it up behind you so that your body covers that stick. And then when you're ready to throw, throw it right out, okay? You want to think of coming from the ground all the way up and out for your maximum power. And when you start throwing, throw not for power and speed, but throw first for accuracy. And then once you get more and more accurate, then you can add on a little more chutzpah, a little more oomph to that throw, okay? So just take it slowly, have fun, and uh, play around with it. Also, you know, it's good to be able to <clears throat> take an animal really with any stick, you know. So, you know, if you find the perfect straight one that's the perfect length, well, that's great. Um, and that's really awesome to use. But, you know, if you can find some old gnarled stick and still throw it accurately, you know, uh, your chances of catching something are that much better if you can't find the perfect stick.